So in this video, guys, I'm gonna show you the top five handheld scan tools for Jeep vehicles in 2024 and 2025. We'll show you the cheapest through to the most expensive and explain what kind of features and functions each of these tools actually has. We'll put links to all of these kits in the description and in the pinned comment, just so it makes it a little bit easy for you to find them. You do need to be careful because there are fakes, there are clones on the market and they can damage your vehicle. So using the links below will take you to the genuine and official products. And at the end of the video i'll show you i'll recommend to you which of these tools i would buy if it was my personal money on my personal jeep given what i know about these tools haven't had the opportunity to use them for quite a while um, at the end of this video if you're still not sure about which of these tools to go for i'll pop the email address in the description send us your vehicle information we can check for you and recommend a tool for you and you and your jeep at the end of the video i'm also going to show you a really really high-end tool uh, which is kind of like a dealer level top top tool so we'll cross that bridge when we come to it later in the video so we're going to start at this end and this is the iCarsoft FD version 1.0 tool so why would you buy this tool if you have a Jeep well if you've got a warning light on your dashboard um, something like an engine a check engine a check engine light an ABS a traction light an airbag a transmission fault or you wanted to do a reset on the uh, the oil service reset maintenance message uh, or even you've got other systems that you, you you think there might be a fault with something like power steering central locking HVAC systems uh, or you just want to look at the live data you want to see what sort of data the car is producing um, then this tool is a, a really good option as it's the cheapest on the table as I say uh, and it's a really good entry-level starting point for anybody looking to get into diagnostic tools but they maybe don't really as yet want to sort of commit to spending a bit more money on a tool so this is a really good option um, this has one service function as we go through the video you'll hear me talking about service functions more and more and as we go up the line the tools generally get more expensive and because of that they do have more service functions so this tool has has one service function and it is the oil service reset so the ability as I say to do the oil and maintenance reset um, from the dashboard so that's the version 1.0 tool we then come to the, the US version 2.0 tool um, so this tool can do everything that this tool can do however this does have more service functionality okay so yes it will do all of your main systems for diagnosing the faults live data things like that but over and above this tool this has the ability to do DPF regenerations electronic park and brake calibrations electronic throttle calibrations steering angle sensor calibration new battery registration injector coding and ABS brake bleeding now it does really depend on this specific vehicle so um, what if you did want to make no use of one of those functions on your Jeep, then I would definitely recommend using the email in the description, sending us your VIN number. We can check that to make sure that that service function does work on your specific Jeep, all right? And that's really quite important. It's not so important if you're just wanting to diagnose a fault and reset a fault code or a warning light. If you want to do one of the service functions, then that's when we need the VIN number to double check for you, okay? But that's the version 2.0 tool. We then come to the US version 3.0 tool. This goes over and above all of these tools. It does cost a little bit more than this tool, just by a little bit, but the level of money you pay extra is a little. The level of diagnostics that you get extra is a lot, okay? Um, it's it looks a little bit different to this tool here. Uh, that's because it's got different hardware and because it has different hardware, it can take better software. And because it can take better software, we can put more features on the tool, all right? So this is the, as I say, the version 3.0 tool. It's a bi-directional scan tool, which means it can do actuation tests, it can do component testing, suspension calibration, transmission adaption, air conditioning reset, engine adaptions, and other adaptions and calibrations. So it's definitely worth looking at this kit if you wanted to go for the best tool for just your, your Jeep vehicle, all right? Um, it, it, it really does pack a, a really good punch, this one. So that's the version 3.0 tool. And then we then come to the iCarsoft CR Pro Kit. This has been on the market for a few years now and it's been a really, really good seller over the years and there's very good reason for that. Um, it covers more than just your Jeep vehicle, so it covers all makes and models. So it has the service functionality of the version 2.0 tool. 
um, but it does that for all makes and models. So let's say you've got a Jeep, but you've also got a, I don't know, a Honda, a BMW, Mercedes, an Audi, VW, Toyota, Lexus, uh, Volvo, whatever it may be. Let's say you've got a, a wide range of vehicles or just a few vehicles and you want to get a tool that kind of covers everything and the CR Pro Kit could be that tool. Um, as I say, it's been a good seller for a good few years now and it will continue to be simply because of it. it's got a really good level of diagnostics and a good level of service functions for the DIYers, okay? Uh, so that's the CR Pro Kit. Sticking on the theme of the multi-manufacturer tools, we then move to this tool here. This is the CR Max Kit. Uh, this is the best tool on the table, hands down. It covers everything that all of these tools will do in one fast, intuitive package. It's a tablet-based kit, as you can see. It does all of your apps, it does, uh, you can go online, you can put emails on, you can print reports if you're like a, a small workshop or a garage. Uh, you can email reports as well, and it does, it takes the service functionality from the version 3.0 tool. So what you get with this tool is the very best high-end level of service functionality, the very best level of manufacturer coverage, and within those manufacturers, a good, really good level of system coverage and diagnostic coverage, all right? So that's the CR Max kit. This is probably the best bang for buck tool on the table. Yes, it does cost more than these tools. However, the level of the amount of diagnostics and software you get in this package for the price that you pay for it, it really is a really, really cost effective package, okay? As an example, if you, if you had a Dodge and you wanted this tool, and if you had a BMW and you wanted the equivalent tool, buying those two tools would be more expensive than getting this tool here. And this tool covers everything. So it really is, uh, I can't go on enough about how much value for money that is. Also, when it comes to updates, these tools have free updates for life. Other tool manufacturers like Autel and Xtool will charge you, depending on the tool, like 100, 150 pounds per year after the first year, just for the updates alone. With these tools on the table here, free updates for life. So you don't pay anything other than what you pay for the initial cost of the tool. And even the initial costs are lower than the equivalent tools from Xtool and uh, Autel as well. So just another reason why the iCarsoft brand is at the forefront of the diagnostic scene at the moment. Um, so I did mention at the start of the video that I would give you my recommendation on which of these tools I would buy for my personal Jeep with my personal money. Um, there's two tools I would recommend. It all really depends on your circumstances, but if it was just a, for my Jeep I was looking for, just a tool for my Jeep, then it would be absolutely the version, the US version 3.0 tool here. Um, it just packs a huge range of service functions and diagnostics into one really good, easy to use package. Uh, so that is if I was just looking for a tool for my Jeep. If I had a Jeep and other manufacturers, which I do, and I wanted to cover those as well, um, or you were maybe thinking about the future and you weren't sure which vehicle you were going to get or you know you were going to be getting something else then it would definitely be the CR Max kit okay so um, you know as I say it does all your calibrations your adaptions your diagnostics your service functions uh, you know I sometimes I, I go on and on about this tool but it's for very good reason because it really does pack such a, a powerful punch best bang for buck best value for money tool so this tool just for the Jeep this for Jeep and other manufacturers Okay, I said at the start of the video I would show you a bonus tool. It's this tool here, it's the CR Ultra. The reason I'm putting this in is because it does have the same kind of functionality, the same kind of features as the dealer level tool and the garage level tools would do. It is expensive, it's about 1,500 pounds, but the reason I put that in there is because there are guys out there, guys and girls out there who just want the absolute top best tool money can buy. And money isn't always an, an object. Money isn't always a problem for some people. So if you're lucky enough to be in that position, then certainly take a look at the iCast of the CR Ultra. But for most Jeep enthusiasts and owners, I think what's on the table here would definitely cover your needs, all right? If you're still not sure about which tool to go for, guys, please use the email address in the description. Send us your vehicle information. We can check for you to see which tool is gonna be best for your needs. And do remember, I do put the links to all of these kits in the description. 
Fixing clones, as I say, they do exist. They can damage your vehicle. It's not worth going down that route. So by using those links, you're gonna be going to the genuine and official products, okay? Thanks for watching, guys, and I really hope this helps.